Hey guys, it's Mike from LA1 here, and I'm, as you all know, not everyone in this world is perfect. In the history of the show, I make a couple of mistakes. So today, on Cinco de Mayo, I have decided to do a top ten list. The first one of many I'm hoping I'm planning on doing. Here, this is the top 10 Mike from LA1 screw ups. Number 10. How come you. Why are so many plans in your haunted mansion, idiot? Yes. Yes. Many people have been private messaging me as about what were some of the flaws in my Walt Disney World review of Haunt the Haunted Mansion. Well, technically, there isn't any. Well, except for this. One of the few problems, the only main problem I have with this is the stretching gallery. Close to the end, you... The guy is hanging there for two, literally two seconds. Hold on. Listen it. He was there for literally two seconds and then he disappears. The California version was longer than that. But if they made scarier enhancements, doesn't mean they can they can't they make the hanging that guy hanging appear longer? I'm sorry, but that's a serious flaw. But that is incredibly pathetic. But other than that, the Haunted Mansion in Disney World is a great ride. Number nine. Reason Pirates of the Caribbean has only one drop. Yes, many people believe that I was over. -re I was getting pissed off for no apparent reason because of this Pirates of the Caribbean. Re this is from my once again. This is from my Pirates of the Caribbean Walt Disney World review. I got many people have been telling me it's because of because of Florida's because of Florida. Because Florida is known to getting hit by hurricanes, they didn't go underground because it was because because they don't want people getting flooded in. Oh uh, bull crap. You guys are in the middle of Florida. Uh I'm not buying it. And in the end of wait, what? Is that a flash picture? Oh my god, yes, that was a flash picture. I can't believe they didn't catch that. What were they thinking? Jeez. But it, the animatronic, but it was still a great ride. I mean, it's not the worst ride at Disney World, but we'll get to that one sometime. Number eight. You didn't tell us what we what was the what mission space replaced. Yes, I yeah, because I was because the lady who asked me spinning or no spinning, I completely forgot but to explain what mission space replaced. In nineteen seventy one, mission space was replaced by a ride called uh, the place where mission space is was formerly known as Horizons. Home to a possibly, which many people believe was one of the biggest Disney Epcot rides ever. But then, uh, and in 2004, 
a close to make room for this. What many people believe should be a Disneyland. Number seven. Michael McNear died in the Columbia disaster. Steve McNair died in the Space Shuttle Challenger disaster, not Columbia. Yes, this mistake I caught, I caught, got ca caught as soon as I got home from Disney World. I clearly said, yeah. Uh, yes, I screwed up because I meant to say he died in Space Shuttle Challenger because after I got home I watched the Challenger thing on Seconds from Disaster and uh, Challenger and he said Michael McNair. I was like, oh jeez, I screwed up there. So that's why I put that there to make you to explain that I had no intentions. To, so if the family is watching, saw that and got offended by that mistake, I sincerely apologize. Number six. How come you can't even say the three caballeros names right? Yes, because the three caballeros, that movie came out way before my time. The names are Donald, Jose, and Pacho. But I haven't seen the movie, so the movie came out way before I was even born. So, if you guys are offended by that mistake, I apologize. Number four. Your countless electronica mess ups. Yes, many people have been asking me how come I didn't film Laser Man reconfigured. Well, I didn't for a good reason. Because it, it contains copyrighted songs. And Power Surge, same thing. That's the reason why I didn't do it. So as a result, this is the reason why I filmed the intro for Laser Man Reconfigured and did the countdown for Power Surge instead to, to prevent the copyright. But still... Many people wanted it, so here's the thing. I'm going to put them in my favorites on my channel, so that way you guys can see what it is from other users. 
And may Electronica rest in peace. Number four. We can't see people in your Disney Junior Live on stage! Yes, well you can blame the camera on this one. Because this, the camera and the lights do not seem to affect it. The lights on the stage were way too bright for my camera's to visibility. So as a result, you can't even see the visibility. But although you could see Casey, who, believe it or not, in this video is actually played by a person who actually appeared in one of my videos in the past. Uh, yes, I am really not kidding here. She appeared in my Disney Dance Crew behind the scenes video. So if you want, if you want proof from that, check it out and be amazed. But until then, I sincerely apologize. Number three. Your original Haunted Mansion review, you friggin' idiot! Yes, I am not gonna be hearing the end of this one. Now, in February 5th, 2011, I met, I filmed what many people considered the worst review of the Haunted Mansion ever. I say nothing wrong here. It just turned out to be a really bad video. Yeah, it was a pretty bad video. In fact, the house side of the house, many people considered good. But when I got onto the inside, it all went downhill like Lindsay Lohan's movie career. Which many people consider, and even to this day, it considered my biggest bomb in the history of the show. The reason, the reason why it turned out so bad because it took me literally, and I am really not kidding here, fifteen takes to get it right, and the guy who told me to move, the guy I wanted to try it again. The guy said, nope, gotta move over, but I'm ha happy to say that that director has been fired, and I'm doing it all by myself. This review is the reason why I use scripts on the show now. But I do believe, but then, but there, but there is some people out there that think that this should be number one. But I can't seem to agree with them. This is video... I really despise. Even a few weeks ago, I even considered removing it, removing it and starting the run all over. But then there are many people, this video got three likes, but it got 36 dislikes. But there are some people out there that said bad, bad language or are complaining against me that I removed their comment and blocked them. But this, in fact, I am always going to defend. But I'm actually going to explain why they I removed their comments. You see, my little cousins who live in Ohio actually watch this show. But here's the thing. If they see foul language, they're probably going to repeat it. So that is the reason why, for their, for, for just for their safety, I removed the comments and I blocked them. So, for the people who hate this video, I apologize. Oh, by the way, the 15 takes, the 14 fail takes, someone kept farting and someone went, North Korea is the best Korea. 
and that guy was a complete racist, so I had to start all over. And for every time I had to start over, I had to go all the way back. So that was the reason why I had to start all the way in Frontierland. But if you hate this video, I apologize. Number two. Damn you hate this song if it's a small world. You're the devil. Okay, now this fact I'm always going to defend. But oh There's an epic fail right there, which that's an honorable mention. A lady, but you didn't see her, she ran so fast I nearly I dropped the camera. That's how fast she was running. Here. Now, many people believe that I, I am against it's a small world. That is not true. Let me explain. I do not hate it's a small world. It's kind of like a Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde principle. On camera, when I film stuff and, and it's a small world, I made it, I made it look like I hate it because I wanted to make it a running joke. But off camera, I usually sing along to it. It's a pretty good song, but sometimes it gets kind of annoying from time to time. So for those of you who hate this, I apologize. And the number one Mike Romelli one biggest screw up is... You didn't tell this girl to shut those two girls to shut up. And your space Ghost Galaxy review. This is gonna haunt me to the day I die. If you guys don't remember in my Space Mountain Ghost Galaxy 2011 video, I had possibly the two biggest beeps of girls I have never I have ever set behind on Space Mountain. They told me, you hate to turn off your camera. They did not say iPods were banned. Banned, because I asked beforehand. But those beeps decided to turn it off and try to ruin my reputation. And then later, I got, afterwards, afterwards, when I left the park, a friend of mine who was at the park, and I am really knocked, and I'm dead serious about this, those two girls were were kicked out of the park for, and I'm really not kidding here, sneaking in alcohol. So, serves you right, boneheads, and I hope you guys get banned for life. And that is the top 10 Mike from LA1 screw-ups. And the next time you guys see if I make a mistake, please don't hesitate to, to type it down in, one, type it in the comments. Because, type it in the comments. Because that will be the only way I'll learn. Alright, I'll see you guys tomorrow for my next Disneyland videos.